Hey guys, it's Jessica from Peace Out Books, and it's Dame here with an unhaul for you. I've already shown you clips of me destroying my library, so my friend Tori from Novel Life came for the weekend. This is her first time visiting me, and she was appalled by the stacks of books in my library. So this is a two-part video series. I have a video where I'm building new bookshelves and reorganizing things, and then I have a video of me destroying my shelves and getting rid of a lot of books. I have so many books I've decided to part ways with. I was trying to be brutal and not keep things that I wasn't gonna reread and not keep things that I just did not care about. So we're gonna go ahead and get through them. I'm not gonna be super specific. I'm just gonna show you some of them. If they have a reason why I'm getting rid of them, I'll tell you, but I have all of these here. I have a giant box there and I have more <laughs> over here. So we have have a lot a lot to get through so we're gonna go ahead and get to it so I'm gonna start right next to me I have a bunch of mass markets that I bought from random places I'm assuming this is from a used book sale we have the Wrangler I'm probably never going to read it slammed by Victoria Denault this one I probably I think I bought this from book outlet back in the day I like hockey romances, but I have so many more on my Kindle, and Tori a lot of times was like, you're gonna read that, or you're gonna read things you really wanna read like on your Kindle and KU, so that was a good point. We have this book I've never seen before. I can't even tell you anything about it. It looks like romantic suspense, but again, I have a lot more in that genre I'd rather read than that. Trust in Me by Jennifer Armentrout. I'm getting rid of a lot of her books. I have a lot of like staple 2015 new adult books that I'm just like, I'm not going to reread these. They were amazing when they came out and I loved them, but I don't need to keep them in my collection. So I do have a bunch of hers I will be getting rid of. And I'm going to go through these mass markets first and then get into some other stuff. So we have Wolf Takes the Lead. It's a wolf shifter romance. Again, I have other paranormals that I'll probably get to and prefer. I have gotten a lot from publishers over the years, so I keep them for at least a couple years to see if I want to read them. And these are unsolicited, so I didn't ask to be sent them, but we have a Texas kind of cowboy. We have holding out for a cowboy. Again, I have other small town cowboy romances that I know I'll want to read. There's The Next Best Day. This is over a year old, so... Um, haven't gotten to it in a year, probably won't get to it. We have Last Man Standing, which I know is a really old one that I got from the publisher back in like the 2017, 2018 years. So if I haven't read it by now, I'm probably not going to. It was really hard for me to decide to get rid of these by Maya Banks, but also if I really, really want to read one of these, I can just get it from the library, but I probably realistically won't be reaching for it. This is Darkest Before Dawn. I did really like some of her romantic suspense back when I was reading it, but I don't need to keep it. We also have Jennifer Armentrout, which like I said, I'm getting rid of these. I love this series. Actually, I think I ended up listening to them on audio and love them, but... I don't need to keep those. I don't need to keep them. A whole series I'm getting rid of, actually. So these are more nostalgic because my students love them. But I read the first two. I really didn't like it the second time I read the first one. And I do like this series, though. So like I read the first one, I think, for book club with my students. And they had really good points about, like, this is not the best romance. But a lot of my students love this series. I especially had boy students. So I taught sophomores and the guys would see the football in the front and they're like I want to read a football book and then they read it and they're like hey I actually like romance and so they were reading these books and so me and my co-teacher would always recommend these and that's why I wanted to keep them but realistically these are not like my favorite YA books and I'm only keeping like tried and true absolute favorites that are very nostalgic to me so those are going to be gone as well. We have thrillers that I decided to get rid of too because I have too many and again I'm just never in the mood for thrillers except for very sparingly I maybe read like five or six a year Year, and even then I can just get them from the library so the wives by Taryn Fisher I've actually read this didn't love it so I do not need to keep that behind her eyes by Sarah Pinborough if I have a thriller that I haven't heard like people raving about and that I'm just like I had it I'm not like super super excited to read it and I have like 20 other thrillers that I kept that I really want to get to so this one if it's not gonna be read soon it's probably not gonna be read ever so getting rid of that one we have some more mass markets here I just have a lot of cowboy romances and a lot of older like romantic suspense stuff. So we had a whole Joe Davis series I got rid of, another Joe Davis, and then we do have some fighter mass markets I had, but I have other ones that I'd prefer reading over these. 
We have a few YAs that I decided just wouldn't make the cut because I'm not like attached to them. So we have XOXO by Axie O. I actually really like this one and I think that it's a really cute cover and it was good but I'm never going to reread it so I'm not going to be keeping that. I do also have the Love and Gelato series which I think I read the first one and I thought it was cute but it's not like an all-time favorite of mine and I was really just keeping them because the covers are really pretty. <laughs> so I'm going to get rid of those as well. We do have a bunch of traditional published romances that I've read and I did enjoy but again they're just like not favorites so why am I holding on to them? These are sent for me from the publisher and I read it. I enjoyed it. I think I gave this one four stars. It was fun, but I don't need to hold on to it. So we're not going to be keeping that. And then I do have some from when I was reading motorcycle romances. I went to a signing back in like 2017, I want to say. So I have a bunch of Sapphire Night and I haven't read them now. And there are so many good motorcycle romances I want to get to. She's not at the top of my TBR. So I'm going to get rid of this one as well. More thrillers to go through so we have the turn of the key i actually read this four stars if i don't super super love it why am i holding on to it and i don't like regularly recommend thrillers so i'm not going to keep it normally i'll keep some romances i rate four stars but i just don't need to keep that cross her heart by sarah pinborough again another one i'm just like not super excited to pick up you're not alone this one i have a bunch of them when i was subscribed to book of the month haven't read this in years because I haven't been subscribed to them in years, so I don't need to keep it. Ninth House I DNF'd, and I've been holding on to it thinking that I might read it, but honestly, I'm not interested in reading this. I just like want to keep things that are popular that people love because I'm like, I'm going to read it soon because it's so popular. I'm not going to read it soon, so that's not being kept. Another motorcycle romance that I haven't gotten to yet, Pepper Winters, Ruin and Rule. I'm not going to read it, so that's going away. I am donating these to the library so they can find good homes for them. I have, I'm thinking of ending things. I think I got this from a book outlet as well way back when I was shopping from them, which has been, this has been on my shelves for like three years. So not keeping that one. The Secret History is another one that I know is so hyped and that I'm like, I will read it and love it, but it's definitely something I'm not going to like. It's literary fiction and I didn't like a book that was compared to this. So I don't think that I will like this. So that's going away as well. Then we have some rockstar romances that I've been holding on to. So Olivia Cunning, I just really loved her covers and I do like rockstar romances, but I have not read these and I think they've been on my shelves for like six years now. So why am I holding on to them? They're like clothes, right? If you haven't worn that shirt in six years, why are you still keeping it? I need to do that with my books, so I'm getting rid of those. We have Southern Chance by Natasha Madison. I have read a couple of Natasha Madison, and they're not my favorite, so I don't need to keep this one. I think that this came from something. I don't know if it's a special edition, but if they're books like this, I'm going to be giving some away on my Patreon, so if you're interested, I'm going to do like mega giveaways there of just boxes of mystery books that I'm getting rid of. So they're ones like these that are romances or any romances or some of my special editions that I've been sent as a rep that I don't need to keep on my shelves because they're just taking up room because they're authors that I personally I don't love that I think people would enjoy. Then we have the end of this stack, which is super exciting. So we have Black Sunshine by Karina Halley. I just didn't love this one. I know so many people really, really loved it, but I wasn't the biggest fan. I have a, a Karina Halley collection of my absolute favorites by her. And since I didn't love this one, I'm not going to keep it. We have Somebody Else's Ocean by Kate Stewart. I haven't read this and I've owned this for so long. So again, I'm just like, why am I holding on to that? Another Maya Banks. We're going to get rid of that one as well. Even though I love romantic suspense, there are so many authors I'd rather be reading than her. So I'm going to get rid of that one. And we have an arc of Beauty and the Baller. I don't know how I got this. Some books I just have no recollection of getting. So I haven't read this and this came out March 2022. So I'm probably not going to end up reading that. Then we have Brutal Blue Blood. I got this in a PR box that I didn't ask for. So I never ended up reading it. And since it's been on my shelves and I haven't read it, we're getting rid of it. An oldie, Reason to Breathe. I've had this for so, like probably a decade at this point. Have not read it. We have some Joanna Wilde MCs. I don't even remember if I've read these. I might have read one, but they're not all time favorites, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of those. We do have spoiler alert that I didn't love. And so this one I think I gave four, and I have the second one somewhere as well, but I think I gave that one three stars, so I'm not gonna hold on to these, even though the covers are gorgeous and I like the concept of the book, they just didn't super blow me away. So I'm gonna get rid of those. I'm getting rid of some YAs, Dreamy Anastasia haven't read this and I think I've owned it for like 15 years, honestly. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. I don't know where this came from. I don't even remember ever seeing this cover before. So 
if I don't even remember how I got it, I'm not going to keep it. This one I've never read, and Abby Glines. I think I've had this for probably like a decade now too. If I haven't read it in 10 years, I need to get rid of it. And then we do have another YA series that I never read. I bought it because it was hyped. I think again I got it on Book Outlet back when I was shopping there, which was over four years ago. So I'm getting rid of these as well put them over there and then we do have more <laughs> mass markets that I'm getting rid of Sophie Jordan we have Lori Foster fighting ones which I thought I might keep but then I'm like no I have so many other MMA indie romances I'd rather read another race car driving one if it's a genre that I am interested in but I have so many others to read I'm just not going to keep them so those are all going to be going away then I do have this one. I think it's, yeah, it's book two. I think I won this in a giveaway. It's a K.A. Lindy fantasy, but I never read the series and I won this so long ago and it's book two in a series. So if I don't even own book one, why am I holding on to this one? That is the question. We have some old ones that I bought for the cover. Look how pretty that is. I think I bought this at a used bookstore a long time ago. So again, we're going to get rid of that one because don't even know what it's about. We have some Tessa Bailey. I don't think I read these, or maybe I read one, but these are really old. I don't even remember the plots. I don't feel like rereading them either, so those are going to be going as well. Then we have a ton of J.C. Burton. I would get these from Berkeley, and I think I read probably half of these. These are her hockey. We have hockey. We have football. Football firefighter, football, and I have so many other sports romances I want to read. And since I've read half of these, they're not like all-time favorites either. So these are going to be going in the donation pile as well. Maybe someone's going to really like those. More Jennifer Armantrout's that I'm getting rid of. I love this series, but I did listen to them on audio. So if I want to reread them, I'm just going to listen to them on audio. I really don't need to keep those. We have these two by Shell Bliss. I remember getting them for a signing. I had never read her before, but I'm honestly... I, I don't need to read these. I think I bought them when they were like $5 on Amazon and I got them for a signing and I got to see her, but I haven't picked them up in like three years. So we're going to get rid of those as well. Then random indie stuff. So we have Catherine Andrews. I haven't read this. I think I've owned this for a very long time as well. So getting rid of that. We have Rachel Van Dyken. I've had so many of her books. I think I've only read like one of her books. So I was like, I just need to purge her from my collection too because I'm never reaching for them. We have the Katie Evans series, which I had this whole series and it's a fighter romance. Again, it was really big back in the day, but I'm not gonna reread those. So getting rid of that. I don't love this series by Katie Tucker, so I'm getting rid of that. I kept her 10 Tiny Breast series because that's like my all time favorite, but I'm getting rid of those. I also had some Susan Stokers I think I picked up because they were on sale on Amazon and I saw her signing. Never reaching for these, so those are going to be going as well. I actually move over a little bit now that I have room. Okay, so we have more that I never reach for that are indie romances that I just collected over the years that I don't need. So we're going to get rid of those. Mass markets I don't need that <laughs> we're going to get rid of. I've had this for a very long time. I think I got it at a, at a Polycon I went to, which has been at least two years. And I think this was pre-COVID. So <laughs> it's been a while. These by Carly Phillips. I've never, and I think Erica Wilde, never reached for them as well. So we're going to get rid of those. Some more Susan Stoker. Haven't read her. We have Lauren Lane. I don't even remember actually pulling these out. I liked these, but I think I listened to them on audio and I'm not going to re-listen to them. So or reread them. So we're going to get rid of those. More from Katie Evans. We do have J. Crown over it. This was actually really sad for me to get rid of because I loved this series, but I do also think that I read these on audio, but I was reading them like five years ago and they were just such a great series. But again, I'm not going to reread them. I really don't need to keep them. And I think I've had this one for a very long time. I think I got this in a giveaway, never read it. So that one I'm getting rid of as well. More J. Crown over, more Susan Stoker. J. Crown over. They've just been sitting on my shelves and I know I'm not going to reread them. They are going. Another one that I've had for a very long time I haven't read is Mercy. This one I'm not going to read. So we're going to get rid of that one. Some YA that made its way over here is Elizabeth Acevedo. I definitely want to donate these because they were good, but I'm not going to reread them and I would love someone who wants to get their hands on these, maybe from a library sale to be able to read them because they are beautifully written. 
but not something that I'm going to reach for over and over again. So these ones are going to be donated to the library as well. They do a Friends of the Library sale at the library, so it's going to like their library sale so people go and buy books there. And I think they're usually like fill a bag or they're like a dollar for a book. So really hope that those go into good hands. More Lori Foster, more Lori Foster, Cowboys, Gina Showalter, don't need those, Cowboys, Cowboys. I love this Rockstar Romance actually, so this is sad for me to get rid of, but I'm not gonna reread these by Erica Kelly. Oh, these were so good. I devoured these. These were ones I got for free from Berkeley back in the day when I got their books and they were still doing mass markets and they were good, but I'm never gonna reread them and they don't need to be on my shelves. Another oldie but a goodie, Molly McAdams. This series was so good, but I'm not gonna reread them, so we're going to get rid of those. And another one that I bought for the cover, and because it's a quote from Notting Hill, I'm never gonna read this. So we're gonna get rid of that. I think I got this in a PR package, unsolicited. I haven't reached for it, and I think I've had it for quite a bit. Oh, it's gonna say 2023, but I'm not interested in reading that one. This one came in a mystery box that I got for Cozy Mysteries and I don't love the like formatting of it. So we're gonna get rid of that one. For some reason I had two of these and I have no idea why. I feel like I got one and forgot I had it and wanted to read it in this edition instead of the indie edition. So then I bought it again on Amazon. That actually doesn't happen too often, but it happened for that one. We have more Kylie Scott. We have more Katie Evans. I just had so much by her, and I can't even tell you the last time I read these authors. So we have Rachel Van Dyken. Like I said, I want to not keep hers because I'm not reaching for them. Another The Lauren Lane. This was a fun series, but not a favorite. More cowboys. So many cowboy mass markets. This one I got, I know, for free out of signing in one of like, their goodie bags, KF Brain. I'm not going to read that one, so we're going to get rid of that one. More from the series that I didn't love, so we're going to get rid of that. I didn't love Mr. Romance, so I am going to add this to my giveaway pile because that's going over there. I think I gave it four stars. I think it was fun, but like, I don't need to keep it. We have Katie Evans that I'm going to get rid of, and I had these by Max Monroe. These were fun, but again, nothing super exciting, so I'm going to get rid of these. i got to get to my big box now. I'm back. We have some thrillers. I'm not gonna keep these. More book of the month thrillers. I think I read this one. I had Tori look up some of the books and what I rated them and I gave us four stars. So I'm not gonna read that either. I like pulled this whole box over here and I'm out of breath. Another book of the month thriller that I'm just not gonna get to. We have this series that I've actually been holding on to. It's made so many purges and I've never read it and I've always really wanted to, but these came out a long time ago. I've had them on my shelves probably for 10 years. It came out in 2013, so don't need to keep that. I read this, I enjoyed it, but it's not a favorite author of mine. The story I don't even remember anymore, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. I do have an extra copy of this. I don't know why I have two copies, but I have this one and I have another actual cover of this one, so I'm gonna get rid of the duplicate, add that to my giveaway pile. And I did have this one that I don't know why I have two copies of it. I think I had didn't I have the, the arc of this one too? I don't know why. Megan Quinn, don't super, super, super love this one, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Okay, I was also holding on to a lot of Tessa Bailey. I did not like this book. I think I gave it three stars. I was not a fan, and everybody loves it though. And I was like, I gotta keep it on my shelves because everybody loves it. No, I don't need to keep it. Some other Tessa Baileys that I don't need to hold on to. I read this one, I actually really liked it. I think I won this one in a giveaway, but... I don't need to hold on to those because they were just fine. Another Olivia Dade. This is one that I wasn't the biggest fan of, which is really sad, but I'm going to give this one away as well. And then we do have the Sapphire Knight. And then we have another motorcycle romance, which I have not read this one. And again, I have so many other motorcycle romances that I could be reading that I don't need to keep those. We are nearing the end. Random books that I'm like... Oh, R.S. Gray. I loved R.S. Gray, but these are not my favorite. I'm just keeping my like all-time favorites by her, so those are going to be given away as well. And more random ones that I've just been holding on to that I haven't read and probably won't read. And some more Sapphire Night ones that I'm not going to read. Other Rachel Van Dykens I had that I have not read yet. And I've had these for over five years, so these are not going to be staying. I also have this series by Tessa Bailey. It was fine, it was fun, but 
I never recommend them and I did like them but I never recommend them so I don't know why I'm keeping them I'm not gonna reread them either so those are gonna be going away this one I thought was cute but that's it so I don't need to keep that one I didn't really love this one so this is gonna go in the giveaway pile and then that other one by I forget what that one was called but this one I'm not keeping that either and then another Rachel Van Dyken that I'm <laughs> not going to read. I bought this from a signing and I vividly remember when I bought it, but I've never read it. And Penny Reads are more on the rom-com side, so I don't always reach for them. So I'm not going to keep that one. And I also have this one. I don't read anthologies, so I'm gonna get rid of that. A random Claire Contreras. I don't even know if this is the first one in the series. No, if this is the second one in the series. So I'm not gonna read it. And this one, I don't even think I've read this one either. And it came out in 2015, so I've had this for a long time. I'm gonna get rid of that. Some SL Jennings, Jed Frederick. I think I actually read this one and it was good, but I don't need to hold on to it. Another SL Jennings that I haven't read yet and has been on my shelf for forever. Oh, and then I have some more Jen Frederick, which I think I got these at a Polycon 2019 and I haven't read them still. So again, there are better like football romances and sports romances that I'm interested in reading that I will reach for way before I get to those. Another anthology that I'm not going to read. A duplicate, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. And another duplicate, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. I may stick that in a giveaway pile. A Cowboy Romance, I've had this for a while. I'm not going to read it. I DNF this. It's not interesting, I was pretty bored. There's like no romance in it like they said it was. I think it was marketed as a romanticy, but I was bored. And those are the books that I am getting rid of. If you've watched this whole video, thank you. This is a very long process. So go check out my other video where I chat about putting together my new bookcases and everything that I've put together and organized, but these are all the ones I'm getting rid of. So let me know what you do when you purge your library, how you decide what books to get rid of. I would love to know, and that's all I have. As always, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye. That was so many books.